All right, so we just got this in the mail. I found this on Amazon. I think it's gonna fit the need. There are a lot of different versions of this. I did pay a little bit extra, although it does say made in the US or had some of that family owned business. It does clearly say right here on the plug, China. So I'm not sure exactly what we're getting 100%, but I did like the color of it. That was one big uh, part to it. They did say they're American family, like I said, but it seemed to be better than the other ones out there. I'm big on having a little bit of color on the trailer. You can realize that you have or have not plugged something in. And they've also given you the printout of what the colors are for your different uh, traditional and heavy duty ways. The colors aren't always the same and inside the box. Besides that, it does look like one of the other ones that I have used in the past, um, the M105 trailer build. But it does seem like a, a nice quality uh, wire and just finishing on it. So. We're going to start pulling the trailer apart and figure out how we want to mount it. The instructions are definitely much better than any of the other stuff I've seen come. Uh, but like I said, this does say China, so it's obviously is made in China. And they must be assembling it here in the U.S. or something of that sort. Not sure why their website said made in America, but I'll see if I can figure more on that out. All right, and I've found a lot online, a little bit about this. For the most part, I'm seeing is that this is supposed to be just a standard bulb that we can switch over into... Um, an LED and the outside ones are already your 12 24 volts. This is a 2012 So I thought these were gonna be LEDs also But that's what everyone's saying. So let's take it apart and let's see and see what we can't get So there we go even the 2012s where you do have some of the LED setups do have the uh, traditional bulbs, I believe, from one of the videos I watched. Uh, he could only get this one to work and not that one. So I'm going to start playing with the wiring and seeing what's going on with that. If this is supposed to be both your running and your uh, brake light and or what the second one's for. I do know that these were for some of the infrared nighttime vision stuff they have. Uh, so we'll see what we can't figure out. All right, and as you can see, I've laid out the approximate length that I will need to go to any truck including my own with enough play in it and obviously the eight foot wire does get enough so i'm gonna look back up under here and i'm thinking i'm probably gonna bring it to about here i'm gonna reuse the factory wiring to make it to everything so i'll either put it on that side or here i might even make a custom bracket for it to kind of sit up in it a little bit more uh we'll see though we'll play with it and see what's gonna fit best and where we're gonna get it but definitely going to utilize this area and then basically take out the factory wiring coming in and reuse the factory wire that's already here plugging straight into it and just cutting those ends off to make that that type of plug all right so getting up from on the underneath where the wires connect right here uh, this is a good spot for leaving that i am going to end up cutting off uh, this side of it here and connecting the wire straight into the box and we're actually going to mount my box right here we're going to take this one rivet nut out and I'm going to leave the rest and we're going to cut this wire to reuse the holders for the new wire and coming out. One thing I do got to do is back here, as you can see, there was that little bit of damage to that line there. When we purchased it, they must have stacked it and it grabbed it and broke that line. So we're going to have to fix that with it. Uh, nothing too much with this being thicker here. We're just going to take these out. Like I said, drill new holes for the box and it's going to sit something like that so let's get started on it
All right, as you see, this is the incoming side. I don't want to cut off the big connector because some of the diagrams do have that in there. But I definitely need to get rid of this wire. I couldn't get it on the back side over here from the angle. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip here so I can pull out that direction and pull out the other direction. I know this will probably hurt some of your guys' feelings because you guys want this wire. But for what I'm doing, it needs to go so I can get it in my 7 pin. So nice large cut there. And let's show you that wire size. So as you see, there's all your wires on the inside. And now I can pull that one through here. If it will come out. And I can go ahead and test. I can tell it's still a little bit tight, but I can bring that in. I can test one of these and line them up with the actual wire color codes that I need to do. And there you go. So I'm going to leave this side so that way I can connect up like I said and do these one at a time and now we just need to go ahead and pull this out you gotta get a little bit of a soap and water it's not one to pull through very easy and then we're gonna take this apart pulling this part out and reverse this wire through to get it back in the exact opposite position all right as you can see we went and took those out there's just two screws there and that was a that's five sixteenths for those and then we're gonna use a seven sixteenths bolt for this We've taken off all the end caps and we pulled that out and we're just going to feed the line back through there. Let me fix this little piece here. It just goes back in, kind of twirls over it and we'll get this in. All right, as you can see, we've got it strung back, same line that they had. And we're just going to feed this through. Pull enough of it through that we can then do it to the one that's here also. And then it will end up coming out on this side here. As you see, I got my holes marked. I got the first one drilled, second one is already marked. All right, next we're gonna take our, our bolt, stick it through. We're gonna use a washer on each end. I'm using stainless steel just because I like to make sure they're not gonna rust. It's already aluminum, so. that through and our box is then gonna line up Looks like I'm gonna need a little bit longer bolts just to go all the way through. As you can see, it's not feeding into the uh, Loctite part. All right, and to get this back, we're gonna just kind of start. We wanted the washer on the back side. We're just gonna start one at a time, feeding these back in. I'm not going to tighten them all the way down because I am going to continue doing the work, but we're just going to do these one at a time and get matching these colors up.
All right, you guys, after I got this all up, I, of course, went to hook my ground wire first, which was this first one, and then realized it wasn't going to reach all the way back to the white. So I actually looked a little further in and realized that this can actually unclip from inside of here. Uh, you just kind of, with your, hand, your fingers, just kind of push to one side. So I'm going to actually end up flopping this to the opposite side, um, kind of how I had it the first time when I decided to go back to the other side. And now I can get this negative wire in and use it and not have to do anything uh, other than what they've done. So I've taken those screws out. We're just going to move this. And then I'm actually going to end up moving all these to the other side. So it still lays it across that back side um, out of the way a little bit more um, where those wires come in. and can still look a little bit better coming in on this front side here. found this pin layout here it's showing that the green wire coming from your seven pin is going to be for the right turn so also your stoplight and it's going to be the 22 460 the yellow is your left turn and it's gonna be 22 461 the brown wire is gonna be your tail marker running lights and 21 all right it took me a little while to play with it i actually had the wrong side on accident and i hooked some of the wires up in the wrong order so once I figured out that this was the setting, I compared it with the back of the Jeep to make sure that this was the color layout. Uh, had basically the running lights instead of the turn lights, stuff like that. So I've come in here and we've got this all worked out. Again, this is gonna be your ground. This is your full-time power. This will end up going to the battery. Don't have that in yet. Uh, the yellow is gonna be uh, reverse. The blue is gonna be your electric brakes, which this doesn't have at this time. The green is gonna be running, and then you had your left and your right turn. Uh, let me make sure I had the color right on the left turn is gonna be the red, and the right turn is gonna be the brown. What I did is you see there are two wires coming in on each one of those. That is for the, the nighttime operations that they have on these lights for the infrared settings. I did go and just plug them in just because I can. It'll probably never actually be used or be beneficial to anyone for any reason. But I figured they were there. It wasn't going to hurt anything to plug them in. And we'll go from there. So I'm just going to close this up. And we'll be back to this a little bit later. And i got some more stuff to add on to convert it over that 12 volts. All right. And as you can tell, this is going to be the box being on it. It protects it from the water. I will end up coming in and putting some silicone around that when I am completely done. But it is good to go. And let's move to those lights. And when moving back, as you saw earlier, we had some of the wires that had gotten ripped out. We've gone through and tested each one to make sure that we have the right setting. Uh, they are all just a black coating, so it's really hard to tell what's what. I had to go in and just pin out each one, going back to the front, to the back, pinning out, make sure they all do the same, put voltage on it, make sure everything works. Uh, these are the heat shrink. I just got to come back with an actual heat gun and shrink them down. We'll wrap those up with tape and then get this wire resecured so that's not hanging down loosely. All right, so these are going to be the bulbs we're using now for us on this particular trailer. It's a 2012, uh, I have to look at it. It was 2012 one, and these are going to be for the 1156 for both bulbs. One of the things I will tell you, I had just read some on the forums, and they had talked about it being 1157 and 1156, one of each one. And when I ordered both of those, I got them in, went to install, and guess what? they were both 1156s on this particular one so i had to send them back the big way to tell the difference is if you notice both of those little tiny tabs to come off to the side they're at the exact same height that's how you know that they're the 1156s the 1157s are offset just a little bit uh one higher than the other some of the older trailers might still have that so do double check with that these ones won't matter whether they go in the top or the bottom they're going to stick out just a little bit so as you can tell, this one's gonna be out just a little bit further, but the lens cover still fits on it without any problem. There's plenty of depth in it. So we'll put it back together. And I'm gonna show you just the one side working and the other one as the old bulbs, just so you can see the difference on the 24 volt bulb versus the 12. You don't have to do anything with the wiring or anything else because it's still uh, just transferring that through. And that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this particular project with doing the, uh, the front end 
as we did on that. There will be some stuff coming later on. I've got a lot of stuff to be involved, but the next big step is gonna be that big top coming on. And once I get that top on is when we're gonna start putting some of the battery equipment in, the lighting for interior lighting switches and all that. So make sure to follow along. Uh, if you wanna to subscribe to follow it, great. If not, just check back uh, on your next project and we're gonna keep going with that. We'll see you guys later. All right, as you can see, we've got them put back together at this point. The one on the right is gonna be the LEDs and the one on the left is gonna be the standard bulbs, which are the, still the 24 watt, but incandescent. So as you can tell, they are barely on. You can see them just a little bit, but it is a night and day difference. And from that distance, it definitely stands out. All right, so we got the 12 volt working. This one here is gonna be dead, so we're actually gonna take this off. As you know, there are a couple different designs out there depending on what year, make, model yours is. Uh, ours is, uh, like I said, 2012, so this just comes off. This particular piece just spins to the left, and it comes off. This is gonna be a, a truck light 30 model, and on the back side, this part is just gonna kind of pull out. It's hard to do with one hand. You can actually pull like that, and that's gonna be the back side of it. I've already tested this one out. It's not working, so I'm going to put the replacement one in and we'll test that and get it going and get this thing put back together. All right, and here's the replacement one. There's the part number for truck light, the 3250Y. And try to hold this with one hand. We'll go ahead and open it up. I just ordered this one online. And we're going to line it up. I just want to make sure I get the positive and the negative. If it even... Uh, has it recorded anywhere? So looking down inside, I can see inside the lens, it might be kind of hard, but I can see a positive and a negative symbol on it. So this is gonna be my positive side right here, meaning it's gonna go in this direction. Just push that down, make sure this thing clips in all the way. Slide it back in, twist it on, and put it back together. These are about $10 a piece. If I continue having other issues with these, I am looking at some other options. And I have found some round circles that are the same size. They might be able to fit one way. We've even looked at doing some other style truck lighting. So we're gonna see these and see how these perform. So that might be one thing to follow back with. If I do make a change on that, you'll see it posted here later. And just looking at the board that's inside of this, as you can tell, they have changed the design a little bit through the years. It's hard to see, but definitely a different little bit of design on it. But it is the same light, it fits the same hole, same connector.